assalamu alaikum guys the topic we are starting today is called metallic bonding we have already discussed ionic bonding and covalent bonding uh, metallic bonding is different from both of the bonding that we have studied because uh, it, normally uh, the bonds that we have uh, discussed so far always needed two atoms to transfer or share electrons two atoms from different elements but metallic bonding does not require atoms of different elements for example if i take a chunk of sodium maybe a chunk of sodium and it is a chunk of pure sodium even this pure sodium will have metallic bonding right and uh, what what exactly is metallic bonding i mean how is a metallic bond formed uh, see the thing is that uh, we know that metals want to lose electrons metals want to lose electrons so whenever we take a chunk of sodium we can safely assume that this would be the structure of sodium that metal ions have lost their electrons and they are floating they are actually in a sea of floating electrons they are in a sea of floating electrons it's called sea of electrons because these electrons are free to move around they are floating right and as a result they develops a strong electrostatic force of attraction so positive ion for example if i'm talking about this positive ion this positive ion it would be attracted by electrons from all over from all sides from multiple electrons there will be forces of attraction multiple electrons se forces of attraction feel honge isko as a result these positive ions are going to be are going to be tightly tightly packed in the sense that they will be held together by these sea of electrons these sea of electrons are free to move but positive ions remain in fixed positions because of these strong electrostatic forces of attraction they are facing from electrons as a result of these strong electrostatic forces of attraction metals are usually hard okay okay the other properties of metals uh, we i forgot to tell you actually that uh, metallic bonding is actually responsible for all of the all of the properties of metals first of all they have high melting and boiling points we already discussed that they are hard they also have high melting points and why is that they have high melting point because they have strong electrostatic forces of attraction between electrons and the positive ions these are called metal ions and you can label this as delocalized electrons or c of electrons delocalized electrons or c of electrons so they have high melting points because they have strong electrostatic forces of attraction which are difficult to overcome this metallic bond is almost as strong as ionic bond because ionic bond is also formed between a positive species and a negative species and metallic bond is also formed between a positive species and a negative species the only difference is that in ionic bonding the negative species were and was an ion uh, and uh, here in metallic bonding the negative species is the electrons so the first property is a high melting point why because they have strong electrostatic forces of attraction which are difficult to overcome another property that they have is that they are malleable and they are ductile they are malleable and they are ductile what about malleable malleable means that they can be hammered into different shapes which can, means they can be bent into different shapes what does it mean by ductile ductile means that they can be stretched both of these properties are uh, the reason for both of these properties are actually the same which is that when you apply force on a metal whenever you apply a force on a metal just imagine holding uh holding a steel scale and try to bend it okay just imagine when you are bending it you are actually applying force over here you are actually applying force over here as a result these layers will slide over each other these layers will slide over each other that's why that steel scale bend okay or any metal bends because their layers slide over each other so when someone asks you not someone if there is a question that appears in pi that they ask you why a certain element which is a metal is malleable or ductile you will say because their layers slide over each other because their layers you will say because their layers slide over each other their layers slide over each other each other when forces applied when forces are 
when forces are applied when forces are applied right Let's, okay moving on to another property which is that we all know that metals are great conductors of electricity metals are great conductor of electricity and why would they be great conductors of electricity again uh, they will have what they will have free electrons they are great conductors because of free electrons or delocalized electrons or in this case we can say because of the c of electrons okay so that's all for metallic bonding uh, you just need to uh, know how to draw the structure the positive ions that, is, that are actually floating in a sea of electrons and you must be uh, aware of uh, all the properties of the metals and why do they have certain properties if they have they are hard it's because they have strong electrostatic force of attraction if they are high melting point uh, reason is the same strong electrostatic forces of attraction they are malleable and ductile because their layers slide over each other when forces are applied and the fourth property they are great conductors because they have free electrons now moving on to some of its past papers to cement your concepts okay question number one copper wire is used to complete an electric circuit what happens in the copper wire electrons move along the wire to the negative terminal electrons do not move to the negative terminal okay electrons move to the positive terminal it cannot be the answer electrons move along the wire to the positive terminal that's true positive ions move to the negative terminal no positive ions stay in position so that can't be it electrons move along the wire to the positive terminal positive ions stay in position like i told you in metals positive ions stay at their positions and electrons move and obviously electrons being negative will also move will always move to the positive terminal question number 2 which substance has metallic bonding so uh a and b can both be it because metals conduct electricity whether they are solid or they are liquid so question answer would be uh this would be the catch here state of product formed on reaction with oxygen so the thing is uh whenever a metal reacts with oxygen for example sodium is reacting with oxygen so it its oxide is formed which is a solid okay so guys will study it uh, in acids and bases you'll get to know that uh, various metal oxides how various metal oxides are formed and how they are basic oxides but we'll come to that later just remember that the catch of this answer is the fact that the state of the product will be solid okay so answer would be a question number 3 uh what happens to the electrons in positive ions in a metal wire when an electric current is passed through it electrons are replaced by new electrons that's true and positive ions remain unchanged okay why how are they replaced by new electrons obviously they will be because electrons are moving to the positive terminal right so to take their place there will more electrons be generated from the negative terminal which will also go to the positive terminal and the cycle will go on Uh, which property will x have element has x has a lattice of positive ions and c of electrons so which property will x has it conducts electricity by movement of ions and electrons no it conducts electricity only by movement of electrons so a is incorrect it has a high melting point that's true you don't need to check the other uh, options uh in which of the following is there a lattice of positive ions in a sea of electrons we'll have to see which one is a metal this is an ionic compound this is sand this is sio2 it's a covalent compound graphite is also covalent magnesium solid magnesium it's a group 2 element it is a metal so answer would be d right okay again the conduction of electricity is in metals is carried out by the movement of electrons only which substance conductivity is not due to the movement of electrons it has to be an ionic compound because only ionic compounds in ionic compounds electricity is conducted by the movement of ions the answer would be c is saying not due to movement of electrons aluminum has free electrons mercury also has free electron and graphite we know it's a covalent compound it's c it's one of the very few covalent compounds which conduct electricity 
So copper is a metal. Draw a label diagram to show the bonding in copper. You will draw the same diagram. You will draw some positive ions. Uh, they are odd looking positive ions. I hope that you get the gist of it. Right. Positive ions, positive ions. Oh, that's looking horrible. Let me redraw it. Okay, let me redraw it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. I hope this one is a tad better. Uh, okay. Okay. Positive ions. Positive ions. Positive ions. Positive ions. Positive ions. Okay. And electrons, 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 electrons are floating around. Electrons, electrons. Just write metal ions and electrons. Delocalize electrons or sea of electrons. Explain why metals are malleable. Because their layers slide over each other. Because their layers slide over each other. Slide over each other. When forces are applied, when forces, when forces are applied, or when force is applied, same thing. When force is applied. Okay, guys, that's all for metallic bonding. I hope you got it. And uh, these are the type of questions that usually come in exams. Hopefully, you will be able to do rest of them. So. Happy preparation. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz. Ta ta. See you again.